It's very sad when Germany makes a massive oil and gas deal with Russia where you're supposed to be guarding against Russia and Germany goes out and pays billions and billions of dollars a year to Russia. So we're protecting Germany, we're protecting France, we're protecting all of these countries. And then numerous of the countries go out and make a pipeline deal with Russia where they're paying billions of dollars into the coffers of Russia. So we're supposed to protect you against Russia, but they're paying billions of dollars to Russia, and I think that's very inappropriate. And the former chancellor of Germany is the head of the pipeline company that's supplying the gas. Uh, it's ultimately, Germany will have almost 70% of their country controlled by Russia with natural gas. So you tell me, is that appropriate? I mean, we're, I've been complaining about this from the time I got in. It should have never been allowed to have happened. But Germany is totally controlled by Russia. Well, Trump continues to deliver on his promise to expose the tyrannical authoritarian EU to show how it's the new Soviet Union and all of its activities and to expose how Germany more and more is the lapdog of Russian energy getting 70% of its natural gas that its main energy source for heating and cooling homes uh, comes from Russia. Trump also is exposing the fact that we are the largest contributor to NATO uh, and that uh, NATO is involved in a lot of anti-American activities, a lot of globalist activities, a lot of attempts to destabilize the region and to bring in Islamists as well. So it's quite a time to be alive to witness President Trump in their face. Here's a compilation it's up on Infowars.com and Newswars.com, a two-and-a-half-minute clip from a full eight-minute statement by the president. We're going to be playing all of this today, but uh, here's two minutes uh, of Trump saying, it's very, very sad when Germany makes a massive oil and gas deal with Russia. Germany is totally controlled by Russia. It's very sad when Germany makes a massive oil and gas deal with Russia where you're supposed to be guarding against Russia and Germany goes out and pays billions and billions of dollars a year to Russia. So we're protecting Germany, we're protecting France, we're protecting all of these countries. And then numerous of the countries go out and make a pipeline deal with Russia where they're paying billions of dollars into the coffers of Russia. So we're supposed to protect you against Russia, but they're paying billions of dollars to Russia, and I think that's very inappropriate. And the former chancellor of Germany is the head of the pipeline company that's supplying the gas. Uh, it's ultimately, Germany will have almost 70% of their country controlled by Russia with natural gas. So you tell me, is that appropriate? I mean, we're, I've been complaining about this from the time I got in. It should have never been allowed to have happened. But Germany is totally controlled by Russia because they were getting from 60 to 70 percent of their energy from Russia and a new pipeline. And you tell me if that's appropriate because I think it's not. And I think it's a very bad thing for NATO. And I don't think it should have happened. And I think we have to talk to Germany about it. On top of that, Germany is just paying a little bit over 1 percent, whereas the United States in actual numbers is paying 4.2 percent of a much larger GDP. So I think that's inappropriate also. You know, we're protecting Germany, we're protecting France, we're protecting everybody, and yet we're paying a lot of money to protect. Now, this has been going on for decades. This has been brought up by other presidents, but other presidents never did anything about it because I don't think they understood it or they just didn't want to get involved. But I have to bring it up because I think it's very unfair to our country, it's very unfair to our taxpayer. And I think that these countries have to step it up, not over a 10-year period, they have to step it up immediately. Germany is a rich country. They talk about they're going to increase it a tiny bit by 2030. Well, they could increase it immediately tomorrow and have no problem. I don't think it's fair to the United States. So we're going to have to do something because we're not going to put up with it. We can't put up with it. And it's inappropriate. Trump is representing America like he's for the United States. And these countries are incredibly rich. They're incredibly authoritarian. And people like Juncker, who's unelected and heads up the EU, basically owns Luxembourg. His family was the richest Nazi family 
in Germany. They made around half the money off the war and got to keep all of it. Now, we're going to go to break here. When we come back, we're going to air more of the historic things he's saying and get into so much more as the Democrats try to break our border, uh, as Page and others refuse to testify to Congress. <laughs> Living in Volcano may sound more dramatic than it really is. The real drama can be found here in Leilani Estates. But a lot of us on the Big Island rely on rainwater, and we need to be concerned about ash and acid rain. Volcanic ash may contain heavy metal particles, and acid rain could lower the pH of the water to unhealthy levels. To find out, we employed a series of tests for heavy metals, alkalinity, and pH. What we learned was that there was in fact unhealthy levels of heavy metals and acidity in the rainwater. Next, we tested the water from our Alexa Pure gravity filter. And not only were the heavy metal levels within safe measure, but the pH was also restored to optimal levels. As it turns out, the filter on the Alexa Pure raises the pH of the water. So what we've learned is that volcanic ash and acid rain can contaminate a rainwater supply. But more importantly, a good water filtration system will purify it. 